Well, obviously, this is a very emotional occasion for all of us uh, for many reasons. Uh, as you pay tribute to, to my mother, who was Nifteret to, two months ago, and to my father, Zichron Levracha, for whom Israel meant everything, uh, who had tried to come here on Hachshara in the 1930s, but Hitler had other plans, but who visited often and who had such a deep love for Israel and the people of Israel and cared about it. And it was what my mother, Allah Shalom, until her last days kept asking me how Israel is, is it safe, is what's happening with Israel. Both were people who cared about children. My father was a teacher in Celerina in Switzerland during the war, and he took children who were being already sent by their parents outside when they could no longer leave, and they came because he spoke seven languages, and he taught all the Lumude Kodesh and the Lumude Chol in this one-room schoolhouse in Switzerland. And my mother, who educated thousands and thousands of children as a Ganenet, as a kindergarten teacher in Philadelphia. And we only learned after her patira how much she influenced so many people who 30 and 40 years later would call her every Erev Chag or Erev Shabbat, even when they lived in Israel or wherever they were, and said that she affected their whole lives, that it was the turning point in their lives. And even those who didn't have her as a teacher, including the non-Jewish cleaning lady who came while she was sick, cried and, and told us how much she impacted uh, her. So I know that this would be so meaningful to them. They were very modest people. Uh, my father was a great anav, and I think they would be embarrassed by it. But I know that they looking down, hopefully, Shep Samnachas, from the fact that they'll be remembered in a place like this, which is so important to me for so many reasons, because I believe the issue of hunger is an unacceptable issue. It should not exist. It cannot exist. And we have to do all we can to stop it. Because it bears the name of another person I love very much, Leon Levy, who was a chairman of the Conference of Presidents, and I'm so glad that his daughter and grandson are here, and because it bears the name of Mort Zuckerman, whom I brought to this project, and who is also very dear to this family, and my grandson, Mayor, who even raised money on Purim for Mayor Panim as he went around, uh, as they collected money on, on Erev Purim, uh, and for, for all of us, this is a place that we will come to visit, and knowing that it's the biggest kitchen facility in the whole Middle East of its kind, that tens of thousands of children especially will be fed, will be a source of nechama for the nefashos, will be a source of comfort to them and to us, and to know that it will be a living memorial, not a statue and not something that just sits in the ground, but something that is living and helps people every day, and that they will come into this place and be able to see their names and know and be remembered and be associated with this incredible un undertaking. I want to thank the mayor and the Rav for being here, to thank all the people from Mayor Panim, and especially Dudi Roth, who is helping to make this dream become a reality. We are not done. It's a job we all have to continue to do. I tell people that, you know, even if I work for the Jewish community all the time, I still have to do my own chesed and stucco work. So this has become my, my pet project for, uh, for one uh, of my uh, personal undertakings. And I hope that all of you will be able to come back when we open it and be able to see it functioning and see this hall, think of it now, buzzing with people and thousands of meals coming out of it and so many people being fed that you make the dreams reality when you have the vision. Dudi had the vision. This place is becoming a reality, God, before long. And uh, I want to thank you all for coming, Mati, for coming from Yerushalayim. And uh, we look forward to being back for the Hanukkah Sabayas.